We are in the workshop today and today we're going to do a electronic ignition master class. As you can see on the bench here we've rigged ourselves a small device because these champ chappies have these horrible point things and we're trying to eliminate all those because they tend to wear and you have to keep changing the points and doing the gap and all the other things that really really annoy you so we thought we're going to get around this system you can buy but it is very very expensive and uh, the last one we saw here only lasted a very very short time so what we decided was we're going to make a little project today and what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves an electronic ignition kit but it has to be from all the things we have lying around the shop and as you can see here this is the end result and we'll dismantle this and show you how we arrived at this situation as you can see we've got rather a nice healthy spark here with no gaps or fouling or anything else and the old girls whizzing away they're lovely we're very happy with this now what you're looking at here is the old magnetic rotor from the very expensive ignition kit, the other half of which failed very early on, so we thought we decided we would use this as it fitted the rotor very nicely. Inside here you can see the red module. Now the red module is something that can be purchased on eBay for very, very little money. And again, it's something we had left over from a previous job where the owner got sick to death of the thing and thought he'd hoe back to points. What a silly man. We've mounted this on the original plate that you find on the normal six-cylinder ferret etc B60 engine and it fits very nicely. One of the problems we had to overcome was obviously to get the thing to face for number one cylinder and if you look in the bottom of the picture on the distributor you'll see the white mark where we needed the rotor to point whilst it was operating. We have slotted the base plate as you can see so that we can change the relationship of the module so that we can get it at the right time. You may notice that the inner spindle has two slots in it and the reason for this is that we're not going to use the champ rotor arm. Because of the scarcity and the price we decided we'd use a rotor arm that was freely available and easy to use but unfortunately it was 180 degrees out. Hence we have the two slots in the arm to put it back into phase. You will see here now that the rotor arm is fitted, this rotor arm is a cut down and shortened Rover V8 which should do the job very nicely. Well here you can see that we're running it up now and in trying to adjust it so that the uh, rotor arm's pointing at the white mark on the bottom of the uh, plate and we're almost there. So uh, we're quite happy with this now and um, I think that will probably be the end of today's lesson. Yes, here you can see that it's also very very good for lighting your cigarette if you happen to run out of matches. And there you have it. We don't actually recommend that anybody does what we've been here today unless you're completely and utter bonkers like us.